this is John Piper with the weekend video and it's Saturday the 9th of October. Um, looking at Bitcoin, I'll just look at the bear case here because from the peak of 65 we did have the potential 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, it's a fairly clear 5 in fact, um, it's a bit messy here, what this is I'm not quite sure. I mean it could be the, in fact that the true count is A, B, some kind of C wave ending here perhaps. Um, this is why there was this confusion in, in this. Uh, the bear, sorry, the bull case is a clear 5 a clear ABC, and now another impulsive move taking us higher, hopefully up above 65,000. Uh, just pause this a second. I think my overall position is that while the trend remains up, I'll stick with the bullish case. Um, if a downtrend comes in, and obviously it will come in from time to time, then that's perhaps a tiny bit more alarmed about this potential bear case coming in. Let's just expand this chart a bit. Um, so this is, I count this as a 1 of 5, and went from 28,000 odd up to 53,000 odd. Not quite a double, but not bad. Um, so that's one of five. This is, this is two of five, which is clear ABC, obviously. Now we've got another impulsive move here. Nice, strong, strong rally. Um, if one of five does almost a double, then we can expect two of five has to treble. Um, if so, then three of five will take us to 120,000 it, when it's complete. That, that, that sort of thing. My target remains at 92,160 for the whole move. Um, but there are other targets that will come along in the meantime. But th th that, I think, as long as we're in a bull trend, that, that's a pretty safe target. Um, but it could, of course, overshoot. I mean, there are people saying 200,000, 300,000. Um, let, let's, let's wait and see, I guess. Uh, that's, well, I think 120 is, is possible. I think, I think yeah, the parameters of this thing, as they look, if this is a three of a five, and this is just one of three of five. Then we've got the, we've got the list complete, then we've got the ABC, or whatever, whatever form, a wave two of three or five might take. Uh, and then the third of a third um, could be something something to behold. But so, so right now there are these worries, um, but the trend is up, so while it's up, I'll stick with the, the bullish interpretation. Uh, I did take some profits at last week, I mentioned that in the in the video in the video. Um, and I plan to keep doing that in fact, I mean I I, I think it took about five percent, not, not not a huge sum. Um, and uh, yeah, I plan to do sim similar similar um, uh, removals of capital from time to time. Um, just to balance things up a little bit, I mean, my, my holding in crypto is perhaps bigger than it should be, maybe. Maybe the case of anybody who got into crypto when, uh, when I did back in 2016, when I recommended it to other, other, well, my other people on, on TTT. Uh, and if you kept those Bitcoin and did that, then uh, you, know, you also have a decent stash in this, uh, in this market. So we'll do Ethereum now. Going through the same exercise with Ethereum, um, there's no sign of a 5 here, there's like an A, B, C. So it looks like we have a corrective decline followed by a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1 of 5, A, B, C, 2 of 5. And now we've got the 3 starting up, but this is lagging. I mean, um, Bitcoin is above this lie high here, as I said before. Um, so, But it's still an uptrend. I mean, there's no sign of a downtrend developing at the moment. Um, so although Ethereum is not doing as well as Bitcoin, um, it's, uh, it's, it's still it's going up. And uh, you can qu quickly remedy the fact that it's another few hundred points are above here, another thousand points are above there, and the target is five times one seven one nine eight five nine five. Um, so again, a, a decent target, and it's uh, again whilst in the uptrend, this looks pretty solid. And of course, as I said, this is an ABC anyway, so there's no real case for a downtrend on Ethereum at the moment. All right, gold continues to lag. Um, in fact, the problem may be Bitcoin. We're reading an article about this and saying that. Uh, you know, the bigger fund managers are going into Bitcoin and, and abandoning gold. Um, I mean, probably because they think it's a, a better bet in the sense that it's got more potential to go up. <coughs> it avoids all the problems with gold, i.e. storage, etc. Um, and, and, and I mean, the weight of the thing, it's not easy to transport around the place, whereas Bitcoin is, is, is uh, moves, well, electronically, so it moves at the speed of light. Um, anyway, we've got the five waves up here. Um, ABC here, very deep correction, but it did hold the low just. Uh, then we've got five it up again, five it's sorry, five it up again. Uh, a, B, C, rather truncated C, but it could in fact be a, an A, B, and then A, B, C, C wave. Maybe that's a better count, actually. Um, and now we're sort of trying to stagger up a bit. Um, let's expand this a little bit, not shrink it. Um, so we've got a one, two, three, four, five. Again, not the greatest count. I mean, this spike here is selling spike is a bit worrying. So again, the gold continues to lag, basically. I mean, I've been saying that I, I want some confirmation. Um, we're not really getting much, really. I mean, we have got some confirmation, but, you know, these deep corrections, this kind of spike, um, it uh, doesn't really encourage 
investment at this point in time. I, I do retain quite a few mines, in fact, so I, I'm, I'm thinking what I should do about those, in fact. Uh, I mean, we have got these fibers up, but it, it's, it's all looking a bit patchy at the moment on gold. Silver's even worse than gold. Uh, again, the Bitcoin effect may be part of this. Um, so we have a new low here. Trying to see a decent rally, but I mean, we have got five, one, two, three, four, five, but it's all a bit flaky again. Not much happening. Solid spike here. Maybe this is an A, B, C, in fact. Um, so again, it, it doesn't look too good really uh, on silver at the moment. All right, first, so we had the ABC decline, five waves up, ABC decline. Suggesting we should see new highs here, but this is lagging a bit. I mean, I'm, as, as I've been saying, I think we're seeing major peaks develop in, in equities. Um, it may affect it may affect all markets. In fact, I mean, it's quite possible we have. I mean, certainly it's reasonable to assume that uh, the velocity of currency um, moving around the system is is very slow right now with all the uncertainty with these lockdowns, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I mean, shortages are now developing as people predicted a year or so ago. Um, a, delibe a deliberate policy, in fact. I mean, if somebody predicts something correctly a year ago, and they put the blame on deliberate policy, well, uh, and they're correct, well, maybe they're correct about that as well. It's difficult to be sure what, what's going on, really. Um, but the more you stimulate, I mean, obviously the velocity of money is also important, and, and you know, the velocity is slowing down all the time, um, then the simulation doesn't really get very far. In any case, at the moment, the actual pattern looks positive. So we have a two, ABC2, but this isn't really the stuff of legend, so we need to see something a bit more dramatic to confirm. We have got a five, in fact, we've got the one, two, decent thrust up, so it's not, it's not terrible. Um, and, you know, that little ABC decline, maybe, uh, and then we could perhaps shoot up. It's not, uh, as I say, I'm just, just concerned about the state of, well, the state of the world, I suppose, really. Uh, anyway, the, the chart pattern is currently positive on FTSE. A much bigger ABC decline on the, on the DAX. And a much smaller five-part rally, but still a five-part rally. Um, so again, a bit of a decline, and then looks like we're going to see higher prices going by the chart patterns on the on the DAX. Uh, similar on the Dow, other than we've got this possible ABC developing, but it could become a one, two, three. It could be a four, five. Um, but a correction at this point, if it's an ABC, it's just we're going to go down. In fact, but I say that hasn't been confirmed at this point. Let's go on to the Nasdaq. Uh, very similar on the Nasdaq. In fact, we've got an ABC again, and again, just an ABC so far. So that's a similar pattern. Really, we need to see a five develop to encourage that we are going to actually go go higher. I mean, it could be an A, a B, and a C, and then this big sell off I'm talking about, maybe. So that's another possibility there. Uh, that's all for today. For the introduced all back to the report on Tuesday for subscribers. Have a great weekend. Thanks for listening, and bye for now.